Hi, I'm Mike Rowley, PPTA President. We're here for another installment of uh, instructional videos brought to you by the PPTA. Today we're going to be talking about the Blitz. And I've got Mike Marino, a good uh, friend of mine and also one of the great uh, players in today's game. And we'll be talking about the Blitz and kind of the different opportunities to Blitz today. So Mike, uh, thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be, uh, if you can give me a couple things that you'd like to think about in, in you know, describing the Blitz and ways that we can kind of uh, get the general population uh, fired up and excited about the Blitz. I think the Blitz can be extremely effective, uh, especially when the returner's got their return uh, grouped low and cross court. It can put a lot of pressure on the server coming in because as my partner's about to strike his ball, as the ball bounces in his court, I'm going to start to move into the net, get well inside the service line, and then as the returner hits that ball down low at the feet, the server has to look at me getting right inside the base, or right inside the service line, ready to attack his volley. We'll be focusing on three different blitz opportunities today. The one you just saw was the returner blitz. My partner returns. I recognize he hits a good low return. I'm coming up to finish the volley. You can also blitz off your own return. If you hit a nice low return and you got a player who doesn't do a great job of moving into the net afterwards, blitz on your own return and knock the ball off of that one. And then the other type of blitz is in the middle of the point. If you recognize that the opponent went back for a deep overhead, there's a lot of space in there. You recognize your partner has a good ball to drive. You can start to anticipate that he'll hit a low at the deep player's feet. Come in and blitz off of that ball as well. Blitzing off of your partner's return is a very effective way to win points. First of all, the server's coming up, is playing a ball down low at their feet, and they see you coming up and they're getting distracted by that. Plus, they're trying to hit the ball around you, which makes it very, which is very difficult on a short, on a small court like a paddle court. When my partner Mike Riley and I blitz. As I approach the net to blitz, he's going to shift in behind me just like he normally would. As I come up to the net, he's going to be back in the middle of the court. That way, if I'm not able to make the volley, I don't get a hand on it, my partner's behind me, he can lob the ball back up, I can recover back, and we can continue the point. When I'm choosing to blitz off of my own return, I'm not going to try to blitz off of a serve that's real deep or down the center line or off to the side tee because chances are I'm not going to hit a real effective return. I don't want to be caught halfway in the court. Uh, when I hit that ball. As I hit the return low and cross court at the server's feet, you can see how the server's partner is already starting to back up and is not in a good position to defend. As a blitzer, I'm looking for a couple different things. One, I want to make sure my partner is hitting his return low and cross court. That's going to allow me to blitz. Next, I want to make sure that I'm choosing to blitz off of a serve that's not down the middle line or not down the sideline. A ball that's kind of in the middle of the box and I know he can attack. Once I see that, I'll creep up to the baseline, and once that ball bounces, when I'm really going to continue up to the net, angle towards the middle of the court. I also think it's important you have to be somewhat more neutral than normal because the ball could come to your right, and you have to be prepared to make a forehand volley with that. After that, all you need to do is hit that volley soft down the middle, soft at their feet, and you'll usually end the point. Along with my roles, there's a couple other different roles that everybody has to be responsible for. Uh, let's talk about Mike Raleigh's role as a returner. As a returner, I'm basically looking to, like Mike said, keep that return on a, on a low cross-court trajectory that is forcing the server to volley up to the blitz. And after that has happened and Mike is closing in on the net, I'm then looking to go into an eye formation back to the baseline to cover on any balls that get past him or through him or around him that I can throw up a lob and allowing him to reset. And I think that you know the key is that both players aren't coming in off of that baseline because it gets by one, it's gotten by both. As the partner of the server here up at net, once I've been victimized once or twice and gotten hit a couple of times by Mike on the blitz, I'm gonna huddle up with my partner and work with him on repositioning his serves, hitting down the middle or hitting wide, as Mike mentioned. Then my next adjustment is if he can't make that adjustment, I'm gonna to start to poach. As Mike is running up, I'm gonna cross over and poach and shove one right at his feet. That usually puts an end to most guys working the blitz. As a server, I want to make sure I get in behind my serve as quickly as possible. The closer I am to the net, the more likely I am to hit a successful volley. The further away from the net I am, the more likely the volley will be low, which is exactly what that blitzer is looking for. Thanks for coming out and watching this great video. I'd also like to thank PPTA professionals Mike Marino, Dane Schmidgall, and Gene Kempner. And to perfect your blitz, you can go to www.pptausa.com to find a local pro in your area to help you. Thank you.
Perfect. Wrap, baby. Nailed it right.